Gracious mighty Father, thank you, dear Lord, for this evening, for your goodness and grace and love. May you forgive our sins and may you strengthen us, Father, that you will um, give us uh, strength and uh, understanding of your word and understanding of your character. Thank you, Father, for your goodness and grace and love. May you strengthen us now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, so... Uh, pinch myself. Okay. Genesis chapter twenty-eight was starting uh, verse one, and Isaac called Jacob and blessed him, and charged him and said unto him, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan, and arise and go to Pad uh, Padar. Naram to the house of Bethuel, thy mother's father, and take thee a wife from thence, the daughters of Laban, thy mother's brother. And God Almighty bless thee and make thee fruitful and multiply thee, and that thou mayest be a multitude of people, and give thee the blessing of Abraham to thee and to, to thy seed with thee, that thou mayest inherit the land wherein thou art a stranger, which God gave unto Abraham. And Isaac went away, uh, sent away Jacob, and he went to Parandram unto Laban, the son of Bethuel, uh, the Syrian, the brother of Rebecca and Jacob and his own mother. So now we uh, just summarize the story. Okay. So uh, Abraham uh, has a son named Isaac. Okay. Isaac marries to uh, Rebecca. Okay. Marries to Rebecca. And Rebecca is the Syrian, okay? Uh, Rebecca is not the Jews, okay? She's a uh, Syrian. And Isaac is the Hebrew, okay? Isaac is the Hebrew uh, from uh, the generations of Abraham. And Rebecca is the uh, Syrian, as the Bible said over here, okay? the Syrian, okay? Laban, the sons of uh, Bethuel, the Syrian. Laban is a brother of uh, Rebekah. So, Rebekah has a brother, okay? A brother of Rebekah is Laban. And uh, Isaac and Rebekah, two of them, has two sons. And the first son is, uh, uh, is uh, Esau, okay? The second son is Jacob. And Esau, he marries to uh, the um, daughter, uh, daughter of uh, Canaan, the land that they are staying, okay? And... Uh, this marriage was not pleased, uh, Rebecca and uh, Isaac. So Isaac commanded Jacob that you need to go back to uh, Syria, okay, and go to the house of Laban, the um, brother of Rebecca, okay, the uncle of Jacob, uh, to find a wife there, one of the daughter of Laban means uh, a cousins of Jacob. So in the old time, they marriage to cousins. That is just a normal thing. Okay, so now, uh, Laban is, uh, what's that? Uh, where, where am I now? Okay. Verse 26, Then Esau saw that Isaac had blessed Jacob. Okay, because blessed Jacob like this, uh, and the Lord God, uh, the God Almighty bless thee and make thee fruitful and multiply thee 
that thou mayest be a multitude of people and give the blessing of Abraham to thee and to thy seed with thee that thou mayest inherit the land when thou art stranger and which God gave unto Abraham. Okay. So when Esau saw that Isaac had blessed uh, Jacob and sent him away to Pada, Padanaram, okay, the place of Laban, the uh, Syrian, uh, to take him a wife from thence, that he blessed him and gave him a charge, saying, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan. And that Jacob also obeyed his father and his mother and was gone to Padanaram. And Esau, seeing that the daughters of Canaan, which is his wife, pleased not Isaac his father. And therefore uh, Esau went unto Ishmael, who is Ishmael, the sons of Abraham, right? So he went to Ishmael and took unto the what unto the wives which he had Ma Mahalat, the daughter of Ishmael, Abraham's sons, the sister of Naboth to be his wife. See? So because of uh, jealousy, Esau, uh, when he saw uh, Jacob, he left and uh, went to uh, Laban uh, and uh, looked for um, um, a wife from among the daughter of Laban. So Esau see that his uh, wives, which are the daughters of Canaan, was not pleased with uh, him, uh, with, with the father Isaac. So therefore he went to Ishmael, uh, his uh, uh, his what's that? Um, his uh, uncle, uncle, his uncle. Uh, the is is not really uncle because the father of Isaac is uh, uh, who's the father of Isaac? I forgot again. Uh, yeah, yeah. Abraham, okay, the father of Isaac is Abraham. So, uh, Isaac and Ishmael is brother. Yeah, so uh, Esau went to Ishmael, uh, which is his uncle, and also looked for uh, wives. So, es uh, Esau has a lot of wives. Wives, daughters of Canaan and wives from the among the daughters of his uncle uh, in father's side, okay? While uh, Jacob is looking for the wife uh, from the uncle from mother's side, okay? Esau is looking for the wife from the uncle of father's side, okay? So it's a complicated <laughs> uh, family. And now, when I read upon this one, um, uh, I I have a uh, uh, you know a thinking because who is God and why does He care about these stuff of the family things? God is the King, right? Actually, He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. And usually, when you hear the word kings or leaders, president, prime minister. They only care about major things. They care about war. They care about economy. They care about uh, uh, army. They care about uh, famine. They care about thousands of people, rebellious, rebellious people. They care about revive. They care about what, uh, um, uh, dealing with another country, dealing with another country, right? Another presence of another country. Uh, they, you know, 
we talk about kings, they only care about the major things. They care, you know, about the big things. If the husband and wife are fighting with each other, will they go to the king and ask the king to help them to solve their problem? No, the king said, "Don't I don't care about that. That's so small, right, Sam? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, even the president, and can you fight fighting with your brother, Sam? Are you fighting with your brother and you go to the president of the uh, Vietnam or even the local president? Cannot, sir. And, and then you tell, oh, my brother is fighting with me. We are fighting with this and that. Can you do that? And they said, oh, I don't know. I don't care. Go to your mom. Go no. to your house. Right? That. right? The president don't care about the sister of fighting or the brother of fighting. Or even the family are jealous. Uh, the husband and wife are jealous with each other. Right? They don't care. That is the king. But we look at this. We look at our God. Why did our God cares about this family? Now, if we look at this, God care about what's that Esau? Oh, he record about that Esau when he jealous of Isaac, uh, jealous uh, of Jacob because Isaac blessed Jacob. He jealous because Isaac gave blessing to Jacob and. And he's jealous because uh, uh, his parents uh, love uh, what's that uh, Jacob more, and uh, uh, he see that uh, his wives, the daughters of Canaan, is not pleasing his uh, parents. And then he went to his uncle in father's side, which is Ishmael, and then uh, marries another wives. And when I look for the commentaries, okay, when I look for the commentaries here, Bible commentaries, I I don't think anyone has mentions about this. <laughs> they don't care. Oh, they just mention ways that the place of uh, uh, Abraham come from. That's it. That's it. You see? No one care about this, the life of Esau. And again, we know that Esau is not in the promise, the lineage of Jesus Christ, right? So, again, the word of God are precious. Why God just focus on Jacob? Why God mentions about Esau? Why God cares about families' problems? We look at this. The silent work of God, or silent works with S, of God, are the showing major works of man leaders. Example, that uh, man leaders cares what? Like king president, they care about, um, about like uh, main uh, power, of the country, okay, like electric city, uh, what else? They care about uh, the nuclear weapon. Uh, they care about soldiers, right? Uh, they care about leaders. They care about the border, country borders. Uh, they care about navy. They care about uh, what? And they make sure they care about what? They care about uh, uh, farming, agriculture, etc. Those stuff. See? This is the, the, the major works of man leaders. That's what they care. But all of these things are silent work of God. Imagine God is the God of heaven and earth. He had to put in order how the sun rotates, how much rain will be put on earth every day, how hot is the sun, how uh what's that? How can take care of all the animals in the earth when they are hungry? 
how to feed them, uh, but it's keeping the balance in life that uh, uh, you he, he gets some rabbit and give to the tiger to eat, but yet the rabbit still enough uh, to reproduce and yet the tiger also maintain enough to reproduce and then how how the tree grows, how many earthworms in the earth, how many uh, birds on the sky should remain, and then those, a lot of things, how many thunder, how much lightning, uh, lightning which way, and uh, uh, how much uh, was that rain upon uh, America, how much rain in Vietnam, right? Being, being a god, the king of king, lord of lord, God should have a lot of things to think about, right? Just talk in a common sense, in a human sense, right? When you watch in the movies, <laughs> you watch in this and that, you see, oh, God has a lot of things that he needs to do. Yet, none of this was written in the Bible. It's really silent. The Bible never mentions that how much rain they got sent on the earth. How big is the stars? How is the stars moving? God orchestrated them. How did he do it? The Bible never mentioned about it. How did he maintain the balance of life in this earth? How did he do it? How did he make the, 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 the flow of, you know, the river under the sea? Under the sea, there's rivers. How did he do it? The, the Bible was so silent about those things, right? Man leaders are boasting about those things, about dealing with power, with soldier, with strength. But the major works of man leader are the silent works of God, right? And now, and the written works of God are the nonsense work of man leader. Man leaders never cares about family, individual, individual, family problem. Man leaders never care about those stuff. Brothers and sisters are fighting. I don't know. I don't care. The prime minister never care. It just send it to the court. Go to the court. The smaller barangay captain will do it, but not me. Your parents will do it, right? The king will not solve those things. See, so, but yet, this one is the written works of God. God cares for Abraham family. Abraham family. God care for Isaac family. In God mentions even how Esau and Jacob are fighting with each other, how Esau, uh, despite of his uh, birthright, even uh, is, uh, you know, Jacob and Esau, Esau want to kill Jacob, uh, Jacob run away, Esau got married, and which are not pleasing the father, those things are just what? Family problems, right? It's not big. It's not big enough for the king of king and the lord of lords caring about, right? You can see our God. So look at this. What have we learned from this? What have we learned from this? God is a God of the family. God is the God of individual. This is the difference between our God and the leader. The leader or the king leader or king on earth on earth are just leader of nation 
the leaders of country, leaders of big group of people, they caring about big things. But our God, being as King of King, Lord of Lords, He is the God of the family. He is the God of individual. Was that amazing? Was that amazing? Now, I know that we are not living under the king time. Okay? If you live under the king time or you just go back and watch some Chinese movie how they respect the king, you will see. They bow the head down. They give everything. Everything in this earth belongs to the kings. Like in North Korea. Like that. Everything on this earth, everything in the country belongs to kings. Every people belongs to king. He can kill. He can, he can ask any people to do anything that he wants. Imagine that. The king is super duper highly respected. Okay. And I can, you know, I can even jealous that some even Christians did not honor God as the Koreans honor their president or the king. You, you search on this time, you search how this uh, Korean people respect and honor their, uh, their king, the big fat man. For me, he's just a big fat man. <laughs> but for the Koreans, what is his name? Who is the president of uh, Korean, Sam? Yes. Who is the president of Korea? I don't know, but do you think it's Kim Jong-un? North Korea, Kim Jong-un, yes. That is North Korea, correct. North Korea is Putin. Kim Jong-un, okay. So Sam is has a very good knowledge of, very good, better than me. So, thank you, we have Sam. Now, just imagine that, how their people respect and honor Kim Jong-un Wheresoever they see Kim Jong Un, they bow down and they crush into tears, <laughs> and as if they so embrace, they so appreciate Kim Jong Un, like that. We see that one, but many of us Christians, we did not honor our Lord as the Korean honor Kim Jong Un. See that, and Kim Jong Un never cares about individual problems. But our God, the Lord of Lords, King of Kings, He cares. Even Esau is not in the lineage of Jesus. Esau is not in the promised uh, son. But yet, God still mentions about Esau. And you look at uh, later on, you read on, I think you read already, the story of Jacob. How he has Leah as his wife and he has Rebecca as his wife. And how Leah and Rebecca, they are sister, but yet they are fighting with each other because they have the same husband. They are jealous. They are fighting. They say this and that, blah, 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 blah. Imagine that. And yet, it's a record recorded in the Bible. Family problems recorded in the Bible. The Christian Bible is totally different, different with all the religious books. Religious book is just thinking about all humankind as a whole. This and that. Right? But yet, our Bible it mentions about personal, individual family. He cares. He cares for Jacob's family. He cares for even family problems. So therefore, we should know the character of our God. And we should honor our God in our family. From you your children, your wife, your children. Let's honor the Lord and realize the presence of the Lord in your family. And that is very, very important. 
Okay? So, that is a simple Bible study or devotion this evening. And I hope individual, each one of us, you will study and remember the Lord. Okay? Study and remember the Lord in every time we pray, every time we wake up, because the God is the God of our family. He's, there's no big things that He cannot do, and there's no small things that He does not care. Remember, He cares for you. He cares for your mother. He cares for your father. He cares for your husband, and He cares for your future. He cares everything about you. Like, he has care for Abraham, for Isaac, for Jacob. The Bible did not mention much about Esau, but yet I believe he also cares for Esau. Right? He will make Esau become great nations. We know it already. He cares. He cares. Individual family, God cares for you. That is the character of our God. Let's pray. Gracious, mighty Father, thank you, dear Lord, for this evening. Thank you, Father, for the simple devotions for your word. Truly, Father, it's God who cares. Cares for our families, care for our loved ones, care for our the mother, the father, the husband, the brothers or sisters. God cares everything about our family and what we are going through. Even we are fighting, even we are jealous, even we are hurt. But God cares. The Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, cares for us. Lord, thank you, Father. Help us, Father, not to take it granted, but take it as a privilege to serve you, a privilege to have you in our family. I pray thee, Father, be with all of them, with Sam's, with Jihan's family, with us, with Mam Anna. And Mam Lasaga, if she would join uh, or listen, uh, or all those who will listen to this message, that you will be with them in their own family. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God, for your love, for your tender heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, goodbye and good night.